volcano. So, the volcano is the shield volcano. Shield volcanoes do not explode. Instead, the lava pours gently and continuously out of the mountain and spreads out over a wide area. Some people compare their shape to that of a shield, which is where they get their name. They are very wide, but not very tall. So can you guys tell me some typical characteristics of the shared volcano? They do not explode. Next, the lava flows gently, right? Lava flows gently. It's not larva, okay? Larva is like a very cute character. And spread out wide area. And then, it's, it's actually wide, but is that tall or not tall? It's not tall, right? So it goes like this, all right? And let's move on to next. Uh, what is another type of volcano? Caldera volcano. Have a look at the picture, everybody. How does it look like? Small. A small, cute hill. It looks like a small, cute bomb, right? So let's listen to this one, number two. Next, we have caldera volcanoes. They are made when an explosion empties the volcano of its contents. The empty space causes the center to collapse and leaves behind a large crater. They are not as strong as other volcanoes because they are formed by many tiny pieces of rock rather than one solid piece. They are not as common as the other types. They are not very wide, but they have relatively steep sides. So can anybody tell me the typical characteristics of Cardina Burkina, Cardera volcanoes? Yeah, so the explosion's not big. Is the explosion big? No. No, it's very small. And then the, it empties the inside hill, right? Is that strong? No. Not as strong as other volcanoes, right? Is that common? Yeah. It's no. not as common as other volcanic eruptions, right? Is that wide? It's not wide, but it has relatively steep side, right? And we have the last type of volcano. Kevin, what is the last type of volcano? Composite volcano, right? So listen. Composite volcanoes are a combination of the other two types. They are formed over time after many different kinds of eruptions. Layers of flowing lava, rock, and ash build up to create the shape of the volcano. They are the most common type and have the most familiar shape with both a large base and steep sides. So can you guys tell me what characteristics you can see in a composite volcano? Yeah, you actually don't have time to take notes and everything. So you just have to say one plus two, right? And then how is it formed? It is formed over time. So why is it formed? One eruption or many different types of eruption? Yeah, it is formed by many different types of eruption over time, like over a long period of time. It even uh, is, it is even formed in like, 100 or 200 years is more than like a thousand years as well, right? And why is it formed, David? What kind of ingredients are actually working in a forming? Ashes and lava is actually making a layer by time, right? So by long period of time. And Julia, how common is this? This most common form of the volcanic eruption, right? And then it has steep sides and a lot of layers. So after making this kind of note-taking, we can actually move on to here. I'm not going to actually make you guys take notes again. But no, it's okay. I'll give you guys an answer. Here. Oh. Yeah, actually it's impossible for you guys to um, get a kind of like perfect answer like this. You don't have time to summarize everything in a perfect sentence. So this is kind of a simple answer. All right. But I'll be giving you guys an example 
how I probably say in uh, total speaking number, this one is actually number four, right? I can stop number four and six. No. The number four and number six is related to the lecture. And do you guys know the difference of number four and six? I taught IBT TOEFL for like five years, so I memorized all the question types and I didn't remember everything. And I really took TOEFL, huh? It's not four. Which one? I mean, it's not illegal. I'm not talking to you about the real question. These are questions in, like, what is that? Previous questions. And then actually, David, most of the questions are keep repeated. So you probably see this question again. Not exactly the same, but some of them are really similar. So everybody, I'll give you guys this one as a media card. However, <laughs> Kevin took this as a, a picture. But everybody, can you see this? All right. So is it only listening to the lecture, or is it the combination of reading and listening? Combination of reading and listening. Are you serious? No. Did you see any reading passage over no, here? No. no. So this one's actually number six. Only listening to the lecture and summarizing the lecture. This one is list, uh, question number six in TOEFL speaking. All right. So everyone, um, I'm not going to actually make you guys answer the question like this, but I'll give myself one minute because you have to answer the question in one minute, right? So I'll try myself to answer the question with using this note-taking chart, right? And then I just do like this. The professor uh, gives an information of students of three chat volcano by giving examples. First of all, she's giving example three volcano. It doesn't explode and lava flows gently. And it, uh, it spreads a wide area and is uh, really wide but not cold. On top of that, she gives an example of caldera volcanoes. Uh, the explosion empties the hill and it's not as strong as other volcano and it's not as common as uh, the volcano as well. It's not wide, but it's relatively heavy and steep side. Uh, lastly, she's given an example of composite volcano. This one is a combination of the first one, and first and second type of volcanoes. It is formed over a long period of time, and it has a lot of eruptions, and ashes and lavas are formed in most com uh, to form most common shape. It has steep sides and a lot of layers to form this type of volcano volcanic eruption. So, I gave all the information from my example chart, and one minute is done, and then you guys have to do like this. I'm really, really like kind of having, like what is that, short breathing, because you kind of have to sing a rap song to speak all the information given. So if you try, I give you guys this kind of example like this, all right? And then, can you guys practice speaking? Ready? You can just read this one. You have this one. What error? What error? Ah, it's okay. You can come back. You cannot come back? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. So everybody, can you please practice this one? Ready, set, go. There are three types of volcanoes. The first type is the shield volcano. This type does not explode. The lava pours gently and continuously and spreads out over a wide area. They are very wide, but not very tall. The second type of volcano is just a caldera volcano. These are made when the explosion empties the volcano of its contents. The explosion leaves a larger crater. They are not as strong as other volcanoes because they are made from small rocks. They are not as common either. They are not wide but have very steep sides. David, that's okay. Wait. I know that it's not working, but even though it's not working, it doesn't affect your grade or whatsoever. So just speak up and then read this one together. of number six TOEFL speaking, wow. but you see how difficult and challenging it is, right? So as I told you guys, this one will not be in a speaking test,